change the paint color. So when we go over to paint tools and pick our paintbrush, you can see here that um, our, uh, our color swash is right here. By default, this is typically white, and that's for use with our stamp images. Uh, so, but we can pick any color we want by going to our color chooser. So we just pick on the swash, and we can pick on any particular colors. We, by default, we have the ring here, so I can pick any of the primary colors up here, um, and I can pick on anywhere on the color wheel. Once I pick on the color wheel, I can pick inside the box to pick any variation of the color. Once I am done, let's say I pick, pick this color of blue, uh, aqua, you can see the colors now in my color swash. And I can spray that color, paint, paintbrush that color. Now when I click on again, you'll notice that it's saved that color in the color history. So each time I pick a color, let's just say I'm going to go to green, I'll say done, and now I come over here and I'm going to paint on, uh, say, the fingers here. All right. You'll see now when I go back to the color chooser that green is selected and remembered at this point. So I can remember all the colors that I use. So I can go to the color spectrum as well. I can use this method to pick any color I want. I can pick in here and I'll say done. And I can then paint. Go back to my color chooser and I can, you'll see that comes up in our color history. I can also do it by numeric input. If I know the color red, green, blue, I can then choose those colors. So I would go 1.0 and 0, and then this is red. So this is a standard way of keying in the numbers if you have those numbers. All right, so I can say done that way, and I can paint. All right, so no matter which way you choose, to pick uh, a color, uh, most times I use this ring. I usually pick a close color somewhere out here, and then I pick a variation of the shade inside, and then I say done. All right. So this is one method of changing the paint color is with the color chooser.